This is a weed that is fairly widespread in our council. It's called African lovegrass. Once it gets established on your property, you really have to learn to farm with this weed because it is nearly impossible to wipe it out. The characteristics of this weed is it's a fine peppery seed head to a lead coloured seed, very curly leaf in the bottom of it, which is a good characteristic to learn how to identify it. We have quite a few different species of lovegrass within our council. Ones that grow along the river that we just call river lovegrass. It's very good at holding river banks and soil together. This style of lovegrass here seems to grow more out in the paddocks around houses and bare areas on a farm. It is everywhere. Machinery hygiene is a very, very big part of spreading this weed. It loves the roadside verges. A lot of people can bring it to their property by getting topsoil for their lawn. A lot of topsoil in the Canberra or Cooma regions is full of it. African lovegrass is in seed most of the year. It always seems to be seed on a certain amount of plants in an infestation. The impact of African lovegrass on our community as a whole, it costs farmers and anyone else who deals with it money to control and is a bad one on the environment if it gets into the wrong area. It can blanket the ground and outcompete all our native species. Control of African lovegrass is difficult. It's a lot of work, a lot of expense. Herbicide will take several applications and there's only certain times of the year that you can spray. Other times of the year, it doesn't have a very good effect on it. Digging it out is not really an option. It's uh, too big, too hard and too tough to do that. You can control it by grazing. When the plants aren't big and rank, the cattle will eat it off. The only thing you can do to keep on top of love grass is consistent control and follow up yearly, annually, sometimes more than once a year if you can. So if we work together as a community, hopefully we can achieve that.